Hello everyone, it's Wiki Bunnies. Oh, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. Hi, if you're new here. And for those of you who watch my channel, welcome back to another monthly favorites of mine. Does anyone feel like the pace of this year has gone by like insanely quick? Because I swear we were in January just a second ago and now we're in freaking August. Like we're more than halfway through the year. What is going on? Which I know people say that life gets quicker the older you get, which I'm 19 for anybody who doesn't know that, but How's my life gonna be like when I'm 80, dude? Like, is a day just gonna go by like that? But yeah, putting aside my shock and confusion over why time has been moving so fast, let's get into my August favorites. So starting off with my favorite toys and plushies of the month, I have two huge plushies that I have to show you guys. So one that I bought and one that I actually got from a trade on Depop. So it was good. I didn't like, you know, spend my money for the other one. But yeah, I'm so excited to show you guys. They're so cute and they just bring that much more joy into my room. So starting off with the big girl that I actually purchased, let me show you Miss Kitty right here. Oh my gosh, she's so freaking adorable. And you guys can totally see we're besties because I mean, look, I literally have her on my hat today. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love this stuffed animal so much. I didn't even pay that much for her. I paid about like $35 for her, which I mean, do you see how huge she is? This is insane. Like. Dude is literally the same size as like the upper half of my body. <laughs> but I mean, I just love the pink and I love the strawberries. I mean, this is like my perfect Hello Kitty. Cause I mean, look at her. She's literally my best pal. She reps everything that I love. And yeah, I'm really happy that I got her. Now, if you thought Miss Kitty was big, you're about to be amazed because the My Melody plush that I got from the trade, she is actually insane. Look at this. She's literally like half of my body. That is literally her size. <laughs> Cause she literally goes down to my waist, which obviously you can't see cause it's off the camera, but it's crazy. She's so large and she's so fluffy. She's like the best cuddle buddy a girl could ask for. I love the little detail right here too, where she has a strawberry on her foot. Like how cute is that? And then also her little like satin bow right here. She's so coquette, Lana would love her. <laughs> But yeah, I'm so happy I got her. She just makes my room like that much happier and cuddlier and pink. And also, you know, adds more strawberries, of course, which how can you not like? And now moving on with my favorite beauty products of the month and also continuing with the strawberry theme that we have going on today, I have this little strawberry scalp massager brush right here. And I got this from TJ Maxx. I think it was about $5 and it works very well. And also I had to get it cause it's a strawberry, duh. <laughs> but so I was always curious in like how these little brush things work and it really foams up your head after you like shampoo it. And then you just go in with the brush Oh my God, it's like my head has just tons of bubbles and foam on it. And it's just like very fun in that way. It's also good cause it like gets rid of dandruff and stuff like that. So I've been really liking it. I feel like it's just kind of improved my showering hair routine. Okay, now something that I've been loving this month that I have to put you guys onto has been these body ecology mists that I purchased from Walmart for like under $4, which is crazy. Cause I mean, look at how much liquid they give you under four dollars and they smell so freaking good this one right here the strawberry cheesecake scent this is low-key like a cheaper dupe to the strawberry pound cake perfume that people like from bath and body works this stuff smells like very very similar to it, it smells a teeny bit different but it's like very very close if you want something that is like a lot cheaper and also i feel like it gives you a lot more product and yeah, no, I've just been really loving this scent. It's just delicious, man. And then this one, the watermelon splash right here, also amazing. I was using this a ton in Italy cause like, I wanna attract those hot Italian men to me. <laughs> Let me stop myself, okay? But like for real, I'm pretty sure if a hot Italian man were to cross my way, he'd be like, damn, that girl smells good. Okay, but seriously, this scent right here is so fresh, so clean, so fruity. Like the Body Ecology Mist, I am definitely gonna be purchasing some more because I really like how cheap they are because I'm a cheap bitch. <laughs> no, okay, but seriously, I love getting a good deal. 
and this is a lot of liquid it smells really good and it's really affordable so like why would you not try it out so another beauty favorite of mine from this month has been the neutrogena moisture shine lip soother and this is what it looks like right here and i've been really liking this stuff because it actually has been helping my lips which i don't know about you guys but it's hotter than two hells right now in georgia so it's still nowhere near fall season but this is a great lip balm because it also has spf 20 in it and it's also very thick so it does last for quite a long time like if i'm not eating and drinking I swear it lasts me for like four or five hours but yeah I've just been really liking this because it just adds like a nice little shine to my lips while also making them stay hydrated so this has been a buddy of mine this month so something that I've been using a ton this month especially with the crazy heat that we have going on recently has been this not your mother's dry shampoo and this is the refreshing clean freak dry shampoo that is unscented so it's good for anybody who's not into scents which I personally like the scents but I was like I'll try this out like see what the difference is between like a scented and a non-scented dry shampoo and I've been using this quite a lot like it doesn't seem like it actually has that much left in here from like me hearing it right now but I've been using this a ton recently because when you have really hot humid weather and you have freaking bangs it's like the worst thing ever because then your bangs are like sticking to your forehead or they're like parting in like weird chunks because they're all like wet and oily so this dry shampoo has literally been a lifesaver for me this summer because the heat she has not been playing around okay now a skincare product that i've been really loving this month has to be this the ordinary serum right here this is the hyaluronic acid two percent plus b51 and i've noticed like a clear difference in my skin first i feel like my skin looks a lot less bumpy and then also I'm literally not wearing any foundation of any sorts today. All I have is concealer under my eyes here. So this is just like my normal skin. Look at that. Look at the glow, the clearness. I feel like this stuff has truly been working wonders on my skin. And it's also not even that expensive. Like I bought two bottles of these from Amazon and it was only $17, which I feel like is a pretty good deal. It's like about $8.50 for two bottles. I mean, considering what it's done for my skin, I feel like it's totally worth it and it's pretty damn affordable. So you guys should try it out if you haven't tried it out already. And so my last beauty favorite of August has to be this Essie nail polish right here. And it's in the shade Minimalistic. I actually have it on my nails today and I just think it looks so freaking pretty. Just gives off very like ballerina princessy type of vibes. Like this is definitely going to be like a long term favorite color of mine because I just love how pretty and dainty it is. And now moving on to my fashion favorites for August. And so two skirts that I've been loving this month have been these ones right here super cute black and white ruffled mini skirts that i got on aliexpress for literally 16 bucks each which i don't think is bad at all i think it's really reasonably priced considering how freaking cute these skirts are and i just love how stretchy the waistband is because you could wear it more high rise but also more low rise depending on like you know desired fit and then the detail that really had me sold was the freaking ribbon bow right here hello with also the cute little heart charm right here that's totally knocking off mezzo piano but whatever <laughs> But they're so cute and I feel like they're great staple pieces for my closet just because they could literally go with anything and just make the outfit that much cuter and that much girlier. And on the topic of ruffled mini skirts, I also have another one that I want to show you. It's this beautiful light wash denim one. And now I've been looking for like the perfect light wash denim mini skirt for quite a few months and have not been able to find it. So when I found this for $35 on Depop, my ass was like, 
I have to get this because look at how freaking cute it is. And this also works for so many different things too because it's super adorable and yet simple enough that it will like, you know, match with a lot of different outfits. So I'm really happy that I got this because it fits me really well. And obviously you can tell it's super adorable and it's just a perfect stable piece for my closet. And so my final two fashion pieces that I have to show you guys are actually both slippers, which I know kind of doesn't make sense because we're heading into September and it's definitely not cool enough here, at least in Georgia, for me to be wearing these yet. But like, I'm trying to think ahead, you know, plan for winter when my feet can be all snug and toasty in these cute ass slippers. Okay, so the first pair that I have are these adorable little My Melody ones. They're super cute and very fluffy and soft. And obviously they're even more amazing because My Melody's on them and then a little satin bow up here. And then I also thought this was a cute little touch, but like, it has little tails on the back of the feet, which I think is super cute. And I'm really excited for when it gets colder out because then I'll be able to use these actually. Yay! And the other pair that I got are actually the Mother Garden brand, which I was really surprised to find these at such a low price because I didn't pay more than like 30 bucks for these. So I got a deal and a half because look at how damn cute these are. Oh my God, they're fluffy strawberry slippers. I mean, have you seen anything that's more perfect than this? No, you haven't. So <laughs> they're super cute, super warm and very fluffy. And then I also love how the inside has this little polka dot pattern. I just think it's like a cute little touch. You could just, I guess, fold over the slipper maybe like this if you wanted it to peek out, but I would probably still just like kind of wear it as like a little boot and not fold anything over, but still super cute little touch and they're really warm and adorable. Now moving on to everything that I've been watching this month. So something that I've been kind of obsessively watching has been Criminal Minds. So I recently got back into that show and I've been watching the third and fourth season and it's just as good as the previous two seasons. And man, you know, one reason that I kind of watch that show is because of Matthew Gray Goobler and Shamar Moore. Cause I mean, look at these dudes. Tell me you wouldn't try to watch Criminal Minds for these guys right here. <laughs> okay, but besides Shamar Moore and Matthew Gray Goobler, the show is actually really good. I'm really into like crime type of shows. I think I prefer like fictional crime shows to like watching true crime because you know, this is like fake. It's not like a real thing that's happened to like an actual human being. Some of the stuff is obviously based on like real cases, but it just makes me feel better that I'm not watching something about like actual real human suffering. Like it's just fictional, you know? So I've been really interested in that because I really like crime type of things. And yeah, I've just been watching it obsessively. I really like all the characters on the show. And if you want something that is a bit longer, that is a bit darker, then I definitely recommend you guys checking it out. So a YouTuber that I've been really loving this month has been Temkar and she makes sort of like self-help wellness type of videos and goes into a lot about like manifestation and just kind of improving your life and mindset as a whole and I've just been really into stuff like that recently because I'm trying to do like you know the same for myself have like a really positive mindset and you know have a healthy mind, healthy body, all that kind of good stuff. And just the way that she explains things, I feel like it's just so clear. And I've never had somebody like explain things before that clear to me. So it's really been a big help for me as like a person. And I just really recommend her stuff if you're gonna get into like manifestation or you wanna just like improve yourself or your mindset or just like your work life, just literally anything. She has a video about it. And so the last thing that I watched in August, which I really liked, is this movie called Signs. And now I've actually watched this movie, but it was 10 years ago. So, you know, it's kind of different watching it like after 10 years, cause I didn't really remember much of what was going on, but some things I did remember because some parts of that movie, it's stuck in my brain. I'm gonna try to explain what the movie's about without spoiling it because, you know, if you wanna watch it, then I don't wanna ruin it for you. But so basically it's about a farmer who finds crop circles like on his land and he's like, yo, what the hell? Someone playing a joke on me. And then there's just like repeated signs of like alien activity and then you do see aliens, okay? That's the only thing that I'm gonna, I guess, spoil, but it's not really that much of a spoiler if you watch like a trailer or whatever for it, but 
yeah so if you're kind of like an alien nut how i am then you're gonna like this movie i mean it just kind of tackles like religion spirituality aliens like all of these different things and i just feel like it's just a great movie so you should check it out and now moving on to my music favorites for august so ever since i came back from italy i've just been listening to a lot of italian music and i've been listening to these three groups in particular which are finley sonora and then maniskin so the first group that i mentioned which is finley is more of like a pop punk group from the 2000s and if you're into more of like a green day type of style of song then you should definitely check them out because they have a very green day-esque type of feel to them and the second group that i've been listening to a lot is sonora which I've been listening to their music on repeat, I kid you not. They have great albums, great songs, like seriously, if you're into anything that's sort of like blues, but also more 2000s pop, and then maybe even a mix of like country, then you should check out their stuff because they have a really great discography. And then the third group that I mentioned, which some of you might actually know about them because I've seen they kind of have crossed into the mainstream for the US, but I don't know, maybe you don't know about them. They are Maniskin and they're an Italian rock group. And oh my God, they're also fine. Like I'm telling you guys, they all look like models who are rock stars. <laughs> but besides that, they genuinely have really great music and they make songs in Italian and in English so if you want to listen to the best of both worlds then go and listen to them and so two other songs that I'd like to mention that I've been really into this month have been Friday I'm in love by The Cure and then also Heart Attack by Chu from Luna and both those songs are very different from each other Friday I'm in love is you know more goth 80s type of sound to it and then heart attack by chu that is k-pop and it's very girly girly pop <laughs> type of k-pop so i've been listening to those two as well this month and yeah i've just been really loving them and yeah that is all for my august favorites guys let me know in the comments below if there's anything that i showed that you particularly liked and yeah let me send you off with a heart heart and heart to you and i'll see you guys in my next video Ta-ta.